Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Imari, also known as Soul Style Beauty. And today I am back with a new video. Um, and this one is just something that's been on my mind just like constantly and I'm very passionate about it. Um, so it's going to be a great video. By the way, happy almost new year. By the time you guys will see it, it, this video will be the 31st. So I hope that you guys stay safe celebrating the new year. I hope that you spend it with friends and family and all that good stuff. So today we're going to be talking about the topic, waiting on God. Like for those who are waiting on God, what we don't want to hear. Because I noticed that, I mean, even in the past, I've been one of those people to give like a cliche statement of like, okay, just yes, wait on God. And I feel like when a woman talks about waiting on God, it's always like, okay, great, you're waiting on Bay or you're waiting on a husband. And it's like, no, 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 no. Like, whatever you're waiting on God for, like, especially as a woman, it does not have to be a husband. So, no. <laughs> but... Like this video is to basically know like how to respond to those people because we really don't want a cliche response. We don't want, girl, well I know that God is like gonna bless you in this new year, just remain obedient, just remain pure. Girl, just keep on keeping on. I know he's gonna bless, you. like no, we don't, <laughs> we don't want it. Um, I recently had a conversation with one of my friends and then also my boyfriend on just a struggle with me waiting on this thing and I'm like I'm waiting however like it's not coming and I can't I don't know what to do to get me past this feeling right now of like oh my gosh this needs to happen like I'm stressed like I can't so it's like when people tell me a cliche statement it's just like well you might turn it off and you can't turn off feelings like that you can't it's just like something that you're struggling with or whatever um so one thing that made it very productive or such like proactive like yeah like a productive conversation for me when he said well what is causing you to feel that way it made me then reflect on like okay well what is causing me to feel this pressure or to feel like discomfort and not content um of where i am right now and i think that that's a better angle than to just give a cliche statement because like for example somebody's waiting on you know a job like maybe they feel like right now god is not uh god is not like providing them with their needs and then that's like a heart issue of like trust and all these other things and like from there i feel like you can tackle the issue much more specifically you know instead of just giving like a girl you know you can continue waiting but yeah for those who are waiting on god for something i would say get down to the cause of like why you're stressed because of it obviously there's something else like causing you to feel that way so it can be like the pressure of like seeing everyone else but like that's not an issue like envying people and jealousy can be an issue um you get my drift here so like i really encourage those who are waiting like i think that the pressure comes sometimes from like it can be having a timeline of our own life plan which is like me trust me that's always a struggle for me too but that's like an issue of you not surrendering everything to God. You get what I'm saying? So get down to like the heart issue of things. Which will make you realize those certain areas that you really need to be prayerful towards. Because at the end of the day, it is going to be God that has to work in us to be able to, um, to help us with those issues. So I hope that this video helps. This is just a quick video of something that I was very passionate about lately and um, yes I will see you guys with some new videos um, coming this week so thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys